so back when I started writing, there really was no options out there for beginner starter bikes. If you're interested in sport bikes, really the only option was the Ninja 250. I'm glad to say things have really changed nowadays. So for this Top 5 Friday, let's go take a look at the new bikes that are out there right now for beginners. The Ninja 300. Its bloodline started all back in 1983 with the iconic boxy Ninja 250. I'm glad to say I did own that one. More of those things have been dropped by learners worldwide than probably hamburgers sold in McDonald's. <laughs> it's fitting that we start here with the little Ninja. It's easily the most popular of the sponge, if not the most popular sport bike in the world, thanks to its aggressive sport bike styling, the rev happy engine, huge aftermarket support and daily user friendliness. So kind of think of this as the Miata of the motorcycling world. A lot of hype followed this one and for once I think it lives up to it. This European import delivers true super sport handling in a small package. Now styling is a little bit unique with the exposed frame popping out from behind the fairings. I think it just makes it look a little bit more special. The KTM RC390 is a race bike. I mean, don't let it fool you with its small engine. Expect super sport ergonomics, and that really means contorting your body into kind of what resembles the fetal position when you're laid over the tank. Oh, and um, those European maintenance costs, yeah, those are gonna come with it too. And then, you know, what's up with the front end? Is it kind of sticking its tongue out at me? A Yamaha R3, another hype machine thanks to its wildly popular big brother, the R6. Now some of you are not going to like what I'm about to say, but yes, the R6 is the squid mobile of this era. Just replace any Jixer rider joke with the R6 and you'll see that it makes sense. The new R3 strikes a middle ground between the daily user friendliness of the Ninja and the hardcore race machine in the KTM. Time will tell if this bike actually uncrowns the Ninja, but I just don't see many of these things being ridden around. Now we're moving a bit towards the middleweight crowd with the Honda CBR500. It's a bigger bike all around than the 300s I just mentioned, and it delivers more power as well with 47 horsepower in total. Like all Hondas, it's well thought out and well made. You know, it's an excellent all-around bike and something to consider if you're afraid that 300 will be too small for you. The popularity of the CBR is actually catching on, so I'm wondering Kawasaki if you're paying attention to this. Bring back the Ninja 500. This is a full-size bike that deserves full-size respect. The FZ07 is the modern-day SV650. Yes, I know the SV still lives in the SFV Gladius, but this has taken its bang for the buck crown, in my opinion, with its high $6,000 price range. And it'll keep any rider entertained regardless of experience level. It has the power to do so with 75 horsepower and 50 foot-pounds of torque. Now I wonder why that kind of sounds familiar to me. But everyday usability that can go around in corners What's not to love about this bike? And those are my top five picks for beginner bikes. I don't think there's ever been a better time to get into riding with these modern machines out there. So go ahead guys, make your own top five list. Leave it down below if you have any suggestions as well for future top five Friday episodes, let me know. And don't forget to thumbs up if you liked the video and subscribe for more. So until next time guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye bye.